Good, whoa, I just about slipped. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, actually. I am doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually squirrel hunting, believe it or not. For those of you guys that do not know, I am a master squirrel caller. And you guys will see that here in a little bit. But I am, I'm actually at a piece of land that I leased this year for duck hunting. And uh, last time we were here, we saw some squirrels. And I'm with Austin, homeboy over there. He's gonna help me do get behind the camera work. And he's also bringing a shotgun in case I can't hit them with a pellet gun. But I don't know if there's even gonna be any squirrels here. I mean, we were here like a month ago and there's some squirrels, but then I also remembered squirrels hibernate, I think, right? I think I learned that on SpongeBob though, so I don't know how credible that is. Which one of you fellers is the real dirty Dan? We are gonna be, uh, we're gonna be doing some squirrel hunting. I brought a BB gun, my old pellet gun that I used to have when I was a kid. And I bought a mount for my phone that I can film it so you guys will actually see inside of the scope as I'm hunting. No idea if I'm going to shoot anything. We're going to go here. If we don't get any, any, have any luck here, I've got two more spots that we can go to. But check this out, folks. Check this out. Absolutely baller. You guys see that? Ooh, got the old truck lifted. Look at these sexy tires. You guys see I got the, the old BFGs on here. We got the all-terrains, the KO2s. Absolutely gorgeous gems there. You guys remember, I went to Mexico with BF Goodrich and uh, and basically put these tires to the test. I'll roll a couple of those clips now. Yeah, pretty incredible tire. So I knew when I was time for it was time for tires for me, I had to get them. So shout out to BF Goodrich for hooking me up with those. Really do appreciate it. But I got the lift on it. She just she looks fabulous. Just just tops it off. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. What else? What else should I do to this truck? So I got I got a three and a half inch lift on it. Got some uh, got some nice tires, some nice wheels. What else? What else should I do? Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's any anything else that I really want, or if there's any of you guys watching that own a. Uh, an ex truck accessory company or something and want to talk to me shoot me an email i'll link it down below but we are uh we're gonna get squirrel hunting and i know this video is gonna get demonetized so if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see more could really 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 you got use your guys's help and uh and help me out and buy buy some merch you know i got this sick little ducks hoodie on we got the guggen squad hat you know guggen squad if you're a fisherman we got backpacks we got all sorts of stuff i'll leave some links down below if you like coffee there's a coffee company. I will link that down below as well. You should buy the coffee from there. Pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, so we'd really appreciate you guys helping me out. I mean, YouTube hates this kind of stuff, but I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching it. So if you guys do enjoy it, we would appreciate if you pick some stuff up. I will link it down below. Austin's ready though. I'm ready to go. You are ready? Yeah. You ever shot a squirrel? No, I've never shot a squirrel. Me neither. I've never been squirrel hunting in my life. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my rig today. Got a uh, free plug for Phantom, Crossman Phantom pellet guns, all right? And uh, in this little MacGyver majigger here that I'm going to be filming the kill shots with my phone. And then I'll have Austin man the camera. And he's also got a shotgun. So, you know, if I miss, he can at least kill something. So we have something to eat for dinner. But that's essentially the rig. We, we haven't seen anything yet. We've been kind of looking at these trees. There's a lot of snow falling. And uh, we're hopefully going to find some. We're just going to basically walk around, try to be quiet. But I do have a squirrel call. Listen. See, I'm a, I, I speak squirrel, so this should be pretty easy. There's one way down there. Oh, I just saw him go up a tree. So they're all over there. So we gotta Should we go that way on the road. And... We found some squirrels. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more quiet. I didn't realize how smart they were. We just saw like five or six down there. We're gonna go see if we can get them. Yeah, but the issue is like they're not going up. They'll go up it and then they see us and then they, you know. I want to just sit here and wait till we see one. Oh, I see it. I see it. He's, I just saw, he, we can't see it. There you see him, see him? He's going down. We 
we are struggling, folks. Um, found one. He was uh, he was calling, so I started calling him back. He started calling back at me. Found him, chased him down. And the issues we're having is, if we if we creep up on them slowly, they run. Like these things are smart. So my plan on that one was run really fast at him to get him to not hit. Because once they get on the ground, we lose them. It's impossible. But if they stay in the tree, I can shoot them out of the tree. It's a lot easier. So I ran as fast as I could, basically, to get to the other side of the tree, and he was gone. Like, these things are, I don't know if they, they're like chameleons and can camouflage into trees, but, like, we get on them, we cannot find them at all. So we're going to keep looking. Yep, I see him. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Right here. Easy shot. He's hunkering down right there. You see him? Where did that hit? Where'd he go? He's up there. Oh, he went on the other side. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. He's injured. He's is, injured. Is he? Yep. Oh, yeah. Fall. Yeah, he's hit. He's hit. Here he goes. Here he goes. Make sure he doesn't run. Make sure he doesn't run. <laughs> he got him. He's dead. There we go, baby. Look at this. First squirrel ever. First squirrel. Yeah, buddy, first squirrel. There we go, baby. Squirrel for dinner. Well, made it to Walmart. We're ready to uh, to get the seasoning. We got to get the stuff to actually season the season and cook. Don't you just love coming into Walmart? Like the looks you get. How how are you? The looks you get are just absolutely priceless. Like if I could take a picture of the people's face when they see me hold this camera, just, you guys would get the biggest like laugh ever. They just look at me like I'm holding some like foreign object and it's just like... <laughs> anyway, we're here. We're here to get some cooking stuff. Basically, I don't have anything in my house. We're going to get some stuff fried chicken related because that's what I assume squirrel is going to taste like, but I don't really know. I'm trying to cook a squirrel. We need some batter. Nice. Yeah. Maybe check my batter stuff down aisle seven. Something like this. Chicken fry. What is that? Chicken fry. Louisiana. I feel like that's Louisiana. Anything with spice to cover yeah, up that squirrel. Seriously. Honestly, it'd be. This is crispy. Ninety-seven cents. All right, we got the goods, baby. We are ready to go. We got some spicy fried chicken mix. I mean, we're not cooking chicken, but I figured it's got to be the closest thing. I've never even cleaned a squirrel, so bear with me on the cleaning job you guys are about to witness, and the cooking job, but. Me and Austin, we're good at we're good at the eating part. I mean, I'll eat I'll eat anything. I'm hungry. I mean, I eat, I eat some live goldfish, some pig's feet, the Goon Squad house. I mean, I don't think the squirrel's gonna be much. We'll be we'll be good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are my bag. Hang on, my bag was going away. Um, this is the moment you guys have maybe been waiting for, but I've been dreading this whole time. Is um, would you not? We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Is uh, we're gonna clean this guy. We only got one, you know. Not not my best day of hunting, but not my worst. So uh, this was actually my first time ever really squirrel hunting. So it wasn't bad. It was actually a success. We killed one. Not gonna lie, these things really really creep me out. Like really creep me out. Um, but uh, I don't know why I just touched my face. That's gross. Um, we're gonna try to clean it. I I'll be honest. I watched some YouTube videos on how to do this. Um, I don't know if, how good I'm gonna be at it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best and teach you guys how to do it. So if it's your first time, if you're watching this and it's your first time ever cleaning a squirrel. At least we're on the same page. All right, so this is nasty. You gotta, so you gotta straighten your squirrel out. All right, so we'll do a little, little aerobic pull in here. Stretch him, like it's like he's doing yoga. Just stretch him out. Make sure he's nice and straight. Like, all right. Step one, you cut off the tail. All right, so I already did that. I'm not. This is what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna tell you what I did. But I'm gonna try to show as little as possible because I know it's gonna get demonetized anyway. But yeah, there's some youngsters watching this. I just don't want to gross them out. So. As much as, as gross that is, just cut its tail off, all right? Next thing you wanna do, you can do this with a knife, or I got these little guys, would be a little bit easier. You just wanna cut off, you wanna cut off their legs and their arms and their head, which I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick, not showing you guys, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Feet, tail, and head off. I'm not gonna name him, I feel like that's just the wrong thing to do. I, I don't know why, I'm not usually bothered by it. This is bothering me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever go squirrel hunting again, so if you guys are liking this, I'm sorry, you'll probably <laughs> never see it again, but here you go, here's what you do. Take your knife, all right? You just make make a nice little incision right up top. Just like that, right right under the skin. And then you just skin it. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our finished product of Squirrel. We got the arms, the legs, the body. Cut out the ribs and the guts. There's not really any meat involved there. Cut off its head, everything. Like I said, I don't want to show any of it. This is already graphic enough. It's honestly making me a little bit <clears throat> nauseous. I don't know what it is. I, I cleaned a deer with, without even flinching. Hell, I ate its heart, but something about this guy just freaks me the hell out. But that's our that's our squirrel. We're gonna we're gonna fry this guy up just like this, nice and whole. Here we go, big old squirrel goes right in there, nice and whole. Like I said, take your whole squirrel, start just dunking them in there. It's not a very uh, common shaped uh, thing to fry, so it's gonna be a little awkward. But you just wanna. Just cover them in this goodness, goodness. Yeah, just cover it all in there. If you get them looking about like this, all right, covered in whatever, then you want to take them over here to dry. Break his back a little bit to get them covered. Cover them nice and thoroughly. All right, whole squirrel. Just like that. Frying them up like chicken. I don't know how it's going to work without. Might have to put some more oil in or something. Kind of an awkward shape with a little critter, that's for sure. Doing a real good job here frying this bad boy up. That was great. Smells pretty good. Here we go. Delicious. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Honestly, dude, the deer heart tastes better. 100%. Really? It's that bad? Mmm. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm done. I can't. Oh, gosh. That's just... Disc oh, dude. It's like... Oh, God. That's nasty. Tastes like chicken. Are you kidding me? Dude, it's not that bad. No. It's gross. Trust me. It's not bad. He's overreacting. It is so nasty. Oh, that was disgusting. <coughs> yeah, well... I'm sorry guys, I killed a squirrel and ate it and uh, I mean, lesson learned, I'm, I'm not going to go squirrel hunting again. I mean, I'm not, I don't get a lot of enjoyment out of just, you know, killing stuff. Obviously, it's, it's to actually eat it and whatnot. So, I'm not going to go squirrel hunting again, I can tell you that right now. So, if you guys like this and want to see it again, I'm sorry. But, maybe we could do a rabbit hunt or, or something like that because I feel like rabbit might be a little bit better. Or, maybe I just cooked it a really terrible way, which is a possibility. And if I did, let me know in the comment section down below, how should I cook it? Because how I just cooked that one was absolutely terrible. I don't, it's just, no, no, just, just gross. Absolutely gross. But I mean, yeah, it's just, it's an idea popped in my head a few, few days ago. And I was like, all right, let's, let's give this a shot. See if any of you guys like it. The good old fashioned pellet gun squirrel hunting. So if you guys did like it, make sure you leave a like, drop a, drop a comment down below. Either how I should cook it next time, or if I should go rabbit hunting, or what, what do you guys want to see next? I'm trying to mix it up on this channel. Not just going to do the same old pond bass fishing and, and duck hunting and stuff trying to trying to mix it up and go after go after things and make videos over things that you guys suggest so let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see really do appreciate you guys tuning in remember this video will get demonetized i promise so pick up some ducks gear or guggen gear or flare gear or free range or anything and it all supports me and helps me do what i do every single day so if you guys want any of that stuff would really appreciate it if you click the links down below and pick some up thank you guys so much for watching and peace